Ask Reddit by OKWay okay 2341 As a child, what's a song you sang loud and proud, only to find as an adult it's super inappropriate for a child to be singing? Jet Off by Prince My mother heard me sing 21 positions in a one night stand and took the disc off me. It unfortunately belonged to my older sister. Got punished twice in one week. I still love that song. I was very 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 old before I realized what Little Red Corvette was about. Like mid-century old. It wasn't me shaggy. Lol my classmate told me, when she was younger, she thought it went we were both but naked, banging on the bathroom door. Seems a little strange that she didn't question the fact that they were naked, but yeah. I don't want anybody else. When I think about you I touch myself. I still remember the day my early 20s self figured it out. That holy crap. Moment. Apparently afternoon delight wasn't about getting out of school. I did not know that. Are you me be funky? Me so horny by the to live crew. My dad once said it's your mom's favorite song. Thanks dad. So you HH, how's mom, asking for a friend? In the car, riding shotgun with my dad driving, I'll make love to you, like you want me to oh. Boys I I man. That's in that weird intersection of 90s R and amp, B that was tender and not necessarily nasty, but still definitely about sex. And sometimes, the songs were nasty, but if they were smooth. You could get away with it. Freak new by JDC and too close by next to mind. The particular song that mentions, I'll take you to the candy shop and let you lick my lollipop, left me completely unaware of its underlying meaning back then, as I blissfully enjoyed its melody. That song is Candy Shop, by 50 Cent. My 11 year old, completely innocent niece, let's have some fun. This beat is sick, I wanna take a ride on your disco stick. Me, let's play a different song. My friend's daughter used to loudly sing Katy Perry Peacock. Literally everyone, um. Friend, it's a song about a bird, and you will not say otherwise. In about 3rd or 4th grade I came home from playing at a friend's house. Said friend had been singing some weird song that got stuck in my head. So I stroll in and take my seat at the dinner table and start singing as loud as I can. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. I'll sit on your face and tell you that I love you too. My parents damn near choked. They couldn't stop laughing and then told me never ever to sing that again. Luckily they were huge Monty Python fans. Nothing I knew about at the time. That song was stuck in my head last week. You didn't have to put it back. To the window woo woo. Context. I didn't really know much English. OHH skeet 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 skeet. OHH skeet skeet. Thought it was I want a 7 up. Turns out Color Me Bad was actually saying I wanna sex you up. Ha. Ah. I had forgotten about that song, but 9 year old me thought it was I wanna set you up, like they were going to help you get a date. When I was really small I was all about man eater by Hall and Oates. I totally thought it was about a really mean tiger that escaped from the zoo or something and liked to eat boys. Edit, jeez loud eyes, I've never looked that far into it and had no clue what's his face said it's about Nick. Thanks for letting me know. I still thought that when I was 3. Haha. <laughs> I had this SeaWorld VHS that had kids singing this song to videos of sharks. So I always assumed it was about sharks. I was 8 and knew all the words to baby got back. Oh. My. God. The real Slim Shady. Any of his tracks from Marshall Mathers LP really. Swept by in a circle. I was less than 10 when this song came out. Girl I want to make you sweat. 
sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry out. I'm gonna push it. Push it, push it some more. A la 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 long. A la 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 long long li long long long. When I was 12 I told my nana about my new fat song ZZ Top's classic pearl necklace. Oh, I have one for this. When I was 4 years old, I had seen and adored the movie version of Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Effed up and age inappropriate for sure. Anyway, my mom made me a Halloween costume of Miss Mona, played in the movie by Dolly Parton. It was the red sequined dress from her first scene, complete with flesh color decolletage with a seam sewn up the middle to simulate cleavage, plumped up with one of my mom's padded bras. At my mom's prompting, I sang a little bitty piss and country place to all my in town relatives that Halloween, except my mom's mom. Funny that. I'm sorry, but what the actual fuck? Semi charmed life. Had no clue it was about drugs as a kid. There she goes sixpence none the richer. Heroin. Edit, I have learned it was originally sang by the Lars and this is just a rumor. I even never heard of the Lars so I had no idea. Pony by Ginnaween. There is an SNL bit of a karaoke night that includes a father-daughter duet of Pony. It's hilarious and terrible. Five different groups of kids sang Ice Ice Baby at our elementary school talent show. You got a problem? The thong song was hilarious to ding as a kid. No idea what it was talking about till later though. It's still hilarious to me and I'll still bring that out at karaoke. It's raining men by the weather girls. It took me a while to figure out why I shouldn't sing it in front of my mom who already thought I was gay. Still a banger though. One of my friends played this at his backyard wedding. Apparently it was too loud and the neighbors called the cops. The cops came and couldn't stop laughing hearing it's raining men from down the street, pulling up and seeing 50 plus drunk people excitedly dancing, jumping around and singing along. They joined in. Best part of the whole wedding. Divinals I touch myself. Yep. Me at 12 and my cousin at 11 making up dance routines in 1993 to perform to mum and auntie. Oh dear. You shook me all night long by ACDC was my son's favorite song to sing at preschool. I just want to hear a 6 year old belting out, knocking Emmy out with those American thighs. I wanna be sedated. Although the song itself isn't inappropriate, the setting in which I sang it was. 5 o'clock Saturday mass, front pew, where my mother mistakenly believed my brother and I would behave ourselves. Another time I sent a matchbox car flying across the front of the church and shouted that I needed to go get it before somebody steals it. We were singing in church, and my 3 year old nephew decided to sing too. In his cute little voice, as loud as he can, we hear, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Upon gaining knowledge later in life, I discovered that the meaning behind the song Macarena revolves around a woman engaging in infidelity by involving herself with two of her partner's friends simultaneously, thereby participating in a consensual encounter with both individuals concurrently. I was in elementary school when that song was huge. We actually all did the Macarena dance at a school assembly. The entire school, a whole elementary school, dancing and probably some of us singing along to this dirty ass song for fun and not realizing what we were singing about, most of us, anyway. There were some Spanish speakers there, I don't know if the students who spoke Spanish understood it, but I'd assume the Spanish speaking staff did. Apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur, with the fur. Greased lightning. As a kid I was part of this summer program at the local park and we did a whole production with a bunch of 5-10 year olds singing this song all dressed up as greasers. It was cute, but that song is so inappropriate for little kids to be singing with lines like, You are supreme, RR, the shixel cream, RR, for greased lightning. 
I was obsessed with Greece and all the inappropriate stuff went completely over my head. I'm pretty sure I thought the lyric was the chicks agree. A hickey from Kenneke, thought it was some made up thing. Kenneke's 25 cent insurance policy, was confusing but maybe thought it was a toy since he said he bought it as a kid. I never asked any questions and the only comment my parents ever made about Greece was telling me Rizzo plays the first lady on TV now. Hot in hair by Nelly. Lol my parents turned it off as soon as me and my sister started singing it. To become one the Spice Girls. Nobody stopped 6 year old me from belting this out. Not a single soul. Scrolled to find this song. I was 9 or 10 and singing and dancing to all the wildly inappropriate Spice Girls lyrics. My neighborhood friends and I even put on a whole Spice Girls concert for our parents and grandparents. Good times. 